Well, the Astro Globe was an interesting design um, because it was never in the script. And Andy Hay, who's the director of that block, he and I sat for quite a few evenings over beers, as you do in Prague, coming up with some ideas for this particular script and this particular scene, uh, which involved a lot of jeopardy for the king. Part of the brief, obviously, from Andy was that um, it had to have some relevance to astrology. The idea that is that it's an eclipse of the sun, so we projected onto this um, sort of cylindrical globe thing. So really the astro globe was an, an, an addition to sort of give it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more visual impact. We had some crazy ideas, which actually, thankfully, we didn't do. And then I got a phone call from Andy on the Sunday night before we were due to start building on the Monday. And both of us mutually agreed that those ideas that we had were not really practicable. So in the car, I literally designed something on the back of a fag packet which was this astro globe, as we now call it. It's not an astro globe or an orrery or any, it's kind of a combination of all those things. It's kind of made up by us, really. It looked almost impossible to create when we started drawing it up because it's got five moving concentric circles within it, which all move independently. It would be impossible by pulling rope for real, as is seen in the show. Um, but we had a very clever engineer who built the whole thing out of aluminium, and there were an even cleverer computer guy who came in and programmed this computer so that the whole thing moved automatically and it all had start positions, end positions. I mean, it was like something out of the born identity of the 17th century. I had my doubts for a while, but when it eventually arrived on set and we saw it all put together, and the first time we saw it moving, everybody was just like, wow, this is incredible.